In this demonstration, we're going to peer motion a remote copy group from a source system, INS3, to a new system, EOS 62. So essentially what I have here is INS3 and 64 will be in a synchronous relationship, and we're going to have a remote copy group that's replicating online, and then we're going to use peer motion to move this remote copy group from INS3 to 62. All right, so that remains online. Now we can do this on the source side, and we could then later come in and do it on the target side as well. I don't have enough ports to do all that with um, with my current lab, but if I can do, if you can do the source side, then obviously you can do the target side later. So we're going to show the source side uh, beginning to end. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is um, create some test volumes. So we'll just create some virtual volumes, hello, and then I'm going to put these on INS3 because that's going to be the system that we work with. And we'll put these on um, SSD, say 100 gig, additional settings, uh, we'll create three of them, and I'll go ahead and export those out to a host. Uh, I've got this guy, and then we'll click Click Create, so that gives us uh, three virtual volumes here that are going to be already exported to a host. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is our remote copy configuration. So I'm going to add uh, INS3 as my primary system and INS64 as the secondary system. So we're going to build this relationship right here. And I'll be looking at all the ports, so there we go. So we've got these IP ports, all right? So we'll create that. So now we've got a remote copy configuration between um, this system and this system. Okay, we don't have a remote copy group or volumes yet, but we just created the sync relationship here. And let's go to, let me just refresh that. There we go, so that's essentially what it looks like right here, EOS 64 and INS3. There's no remote copy group, but it just shows the relationship. So let's create the remote copy group. Do uh, 3PJ. Good point. And put everything on SSD. And the yeah, INS3, so INS64, it's in synchronous mode. And we'll do like that, start to group after completion, yes. Add our source volumes, we'll select those three. Now you probably already have all this done, creating remote copy, I'm just doing, like I said, beginning to end, so if you wanted to see how it would all work. Okay, so now we can go back to, that looks fine. Remote copy group's being created, that's fine. Okay, so let's create our federation. And I'm gonna include, um, Uh, all three of the systems that we've been talking about, 62, 64, and that one. And click Create. Now I'm not showing you all the zoning and, and all of that. Uh, you should be able to figure that out. Okay, so we refresh Federation. All right, so we have three systems on our federated group. Um, okay, so I've only got these two. Now I have to edit my remote copy configuration to add in 62. Right now these are all replicating, right? So if I go to remote copy groups, just to show you real quick, we can see that here's my source volumes, right? So source volumes are, are uh, the dot zero, dot one, dot two, and the remote copy group has started, and we can look at the target volumes, and here's dot r, dot r, dot r, so these are the target volumes that are read only right now on the um, target system 64. We can also show you that by going into, I'm already on 64 and INS3 here from a previous test, and then we can do um, show our copy, and that shows the three volumes that are currently synced, and it's in a relationship with INS3, and these are, uh, yeah, mode, mode sync. We do the same thing here, show our copy, 
if I can get there. Fingers aren't working. Okay, sync mode, this is the primary system. So it's up and running. And let's go to, I just want to refresh these real quick. All right, so we'll go to remote copy configuration. And now we're going to edit this and we're going to add in 62. So let's edit. And so we're going to add our other system. This will be the 62 system. And I need to put a relationship between both of these, okay? Because I need to, uh, once the remote copy group moves off of INS3 onto this system, it needs to have a sync relationship with 64. So we'll do the same thing here. We'll add lines like that. Okay. And click OK. So we'll see this change. Refresh that. Hey, let me go to um, 62. Okay, so that's up, 62 is up, and it's um, in relationship with INS3 and 64. Okay, so essentially we have these three systems. Let me delete that one out of the way. All right, so we've got these three in the relationship. The synchronous is still running right here. Okay, so we're ready. We're ready for our pure motion. So we can go to Federation. Yes, they're all there. Um, remote copy groups, and we can see that the source system is INS3, and the target system is 64. Here's the host. I'm going to just rescan the disk real quick. And then we're going to go under remote copy groups, actions, start peer motion, and we're going to say source system, which is INS3. Click continue. Takes a second. All right. As, uh, yeah, that's fine. So system has no remote copy with type IP configured to itself. No big deal. All right. So now we'll do um, 3, P, 3 PJ. Um, PM one. The destination system is going to be sixty two, and that's a that's fine. That CPG is fine. Uh, online migration, and that's all fine. There's those three volumes. Let's hit quick start. It's going to verify the parameters. Now we're going to go to um, Federation so we can watch it. So let's go to Federation. We'll go to uh, Peer Motions. We can see that it's running. Now this will take a few minutes uh, for it to set up everything and to start the migration process. So I will pause the uh, recording and at the next step I'll start again. I'll be right back. Okay, so the activity stopped and it says here now that the host rescan is needed uh, before I click resume. So let's go to the host again and we'll rescan the disk. You don't have to do it three times. It's just a bad habit of mine. Okay, and then I'll click resume. It says you must do all these things, verify all that. Multipathing should be fine on my system. Continue with resume. Yes, resume. Okay, this could also take a few minutes. So I will pause again and be right back to you. So I just wanted to show you, uh, we got a lot of activity here as it's importing volumes and going through all that process. So this is all normal, I'm just waiting for it to clean itself up. We can see, open this up here. There we go. Uh, but the, pro oh, looks like it just completed. That was quick. Um, okay, well, let's uh, jump on the systems here. 
just so I can see it myself. So this is the, well, let's do show our copy. Oh, that's awesome. So it's already there. So here's the remote copy group. This is on 62. And if we do show our copy here, uh, there's no remote copy group. That's great. So I should have it on 64. There it is, and it's in a relationship with uh, 62. So we successfully took this configuration and moved it right there and online. Pretty awesome. That's great. Okay, so now let's remove INS3 from the configuration. So I wanted to show you how I'm removing INS3 from here. Um, on the command line, I issued, so I did show our copy, and I could still see INS3. So this is 64, and so here's 60, um, 62 and INS3. And then I did uh, remove our copy target MKTG INS3, and it dropped it. So then when I do show our copy now, I only see 62. So here's 62, and if I do show our copy we can see that INS3 is still there. So just to show you real time how it works, I'm gonna do remove our copy target MKTG INS3. Show our copy. And we can see that the only two in the relationship now and this will refresh. The only two that are in the relationship now are INS2, or sorry, uh, EOS62 and EOS64. Once this refreshes, let me uh, quit that again. <clears throat> Take a look at 64 again. Oh, <laughs> right. So you have to go to, um, I keep forgetting that. You have to go to the other one too. So we're going to INS3 because it still has a relationship. See, it still sees those. So we just have to remove everything from here. So you can do um, stop our copy, um, stop groups, even though there aren't any, clear. Or you can just do what we just did, remove our copy target MKTG EOS 62 and EOS 64 there now if we do show our copy we'll see it's not configured there you go so then this will clean that up eventually when it refreshes. There we go. So now we've completely got INS3 out of the loop. Good luck.